Ayo, duckies, Andy Lippy here. Did you click on this video wanting a free stream deck? Well, oh boy, have I got something special in store for you. Basically, one of the best stream companions out there offers a free stream deck option that you can use on absolutely any device. I don't want to pad out this intro, so let's get on with this jazz. Obviously, if you find absolutely anything useful in this video, smack that subscribe button as it will help me with making this content for you. Oh, and don't forget to give that like button a bit of love too. Let's get on with it. Put your rock over the stove. If you guys have been using Streamerbot, you will probably know they have an insane website. They have an in-depth wiki for absolutely everything on the bot, so you will never get stuck using it. And also some other great tools like the OBS Raw tool, which I did a video on previously. You can check it out up here and also in the description. Do you know who else has a great website for everything you'd possibly want as a streamer? Today's video sponsor, Owned.TV. Owned.TV have absolutely everything to upgrade your stream and make it look more professional. They have a huge selection of professional themed overlays, alert packages, emotes, and tons more to get you looking like a professional streamer without any of the technical know-how. The cherry on top is that Owned have allowed me to give you guys a massive 50% off anything on their website using offer code andy50 at checkout all the links are in the description and they do go a huge way to supporting the channel thank you own.tv for sponsoring this portion of the video today we're going to be looking at the main streamer bot website in the top right hand corner we can actually sign in to sign in it will ask us to connect to our discord account so just make sure you log in and authorize it once logged in you will see your logo in the top right Click that, then choose user settings. In here, we can make sure the remote connection is enabled. This means that we'll be able to connect to Streamerbot remotely. This is also the page where you, we can link Coffee, Patreon, and Shopify, so you can create actions and alerts for those triggers. I will be doing a video on these in the future, so make sure you crack subscribe button so you don't miss it. Once all that's set up, we can press our logo in the top right again and press Dex. This will bring you to this blank page where we can create a deck. It will be just called deck one for now and you'll see the standard local IP address, delete button and a launch deck option. We are just going to click in the middle of deck one. This will open it in editor mode. To connect the deck to Streamerbot, open Streamerbot and go to server slash client. Select WebSocket server and make sure it just has these standard settings and press start server. Also, make sure Auto Start is selected as this will automatically run it every time Streamerbot starts. If for any reason the website hasn't connected, you can click the little Wi-Fi button to connect. If it still isn't connecting, just make sure all the settings match. We can then press the settings cog in the top right, we can give our deck a name, we can set if we want to remotely connect to Streamerbot. This was the setting we checked earlier to allow Streamerbot to receive remote access. We can also set a default cooldown option to stop your commands being spammed. The next menu down is scaling. This will allow us to change how many buttons are on screen and choose how we want them to scale. If you set this to manual, you can set your own width and height. Moving on, we have styles. We can now customize how we want our deck to look. I'll set the background color to this nice blue. When I press save, you will see it hasn't actually changed anything. This is because it only changes the background on the actual launch to deck. This is because we were still in the deck edit mode. Let's go back there and check some more settings. In styles, we can also change the gap in between the decks and the padding on the outside too. In security, we can make our deck public so anyone can use it or we can make it private and allow specific people to use it by inputting their Discord usernames. They must be a registered Streamerbot user though. We can also set arguments too. If you have used Streamerbot for a while, you'll know what this means, but I'm not gonna go into it in this video. Once we're happy with all the settings, we can start creating a button to trigger something in Streamerbot. So I have a basic action in Streamerbot to send the message Ayo Duckies to Twitch. So now on the deck website, we can press the plus sign. We can choose what type of button we want. 
We could choose action or action with input. Then we could choose which action we want to run in StreamerBot when we press this. I will select the AO Duckies one. Change the cooldown if you want it to be different than what is currently in StreamerBot. Leave it at minus one if you just want it to use the cooldowns you set up in StreamerBot. We could then change the appearance of the button and make it look pretty. We can put text in there, change the background and the text color. We can also put icons in there, which you can get from the linked website here too. There's plenty to choose from. You can even upload your own image too. Finally, we can change arguments if needed too. For this example, I'm gonna skip this. Now, if we press launch deck, we can check out this bad boy in action. It will give you the prompt that it is now connected, and when we hit the button, it will trigger the command. So, as you can see, now I am spamming AO duckies in my Twitch chat. I can obviously change this command in StreamerBot on the fly, and it will update the button too. I know what you're thinking. Wow, Andy, that's amazing. But... That ain't no stream deck, you noob. Well, what if I told you? You can put this deck on literally any device. Well, with the web browser. Right, let's get it on my iPhone. We just follow the same steps we did before, but this time on your choice of device. So go to the StreamerBot website, click sign in, connect your Discord. Then we can press your logo again and hit decks. We can see the deck we have made. You might have an issue connecting at first, but if you press the little screen in the top right, this will enable remote connection. It will then connect to StreamerBot via your account with that setting we checked earlier. Since we are connecting to StreamerBot just like we were on PC, we can even create new buttons and even edit the ones we have already made. I know. Epic! When using a phone, it can squish things up a little, so it definitely works better in landscape mode. We can press launch deck in the top right and boom! We have a wireless stream deck that you could control StreamerBot from anywhere in the world. Well, as long as StreamerBot is open and connected. As you can see, if I change the command in StreamerBot again, you can see when I press the button on my phone, it automatically sends the new command we edited. With this powerful tool, the possibilities for user interactivity is literally endless. Get subscribed because I will be sharing some cool things you and your viewers can use too. I just still find it completely insane that StreamerBot and all of its tools are completely free. So please take a second at least to thank Nate and his helpers or even go above and beyond by supporting the project financially too. If you made it this far in the video, then you get to know a secret. I had some sneaky DM action from Lifesaver, and um, not what you think. This time. He let me in on a secret. Whipstick Go Stop is actually completely changing and innovating the StreamerBot deck tool. So if you think what you have seen in this video is epic, just you wait until you see what he has in store for you in the future. Make sure you follow my Twitch and subscribe here as I will definitely be doing content on it as soon as humanly possible. Right then, a big thanks to all the people that helped me make this content free for you. You can also join these incredible people by joining either Coffee or Patreon as it would go a huge way to support the channel. A big huge shout out to Armed Gamer, Auditive Modality, Bongo, Fever Team, Marcus Vasquez, and Romulo Souza for being my top supporters. I couldn't do this without you guys. If you want to see the video I did on the StreamerBot OBS Raw tool, then click on here. And if you want to see my full StreamerBot playlist, click here. See you over there. Put your over the stone.